Doing a quick video today with the Secret Chess Slots app template addressing a question one of the uh, customers had named Colin. Um, this template is available on a lot of different marketplaces, sellmyapp.com, gamegorillas.com. I think Colin was off of, uh, I call it Chupa, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, you can see the links below in the description. But anyway, he wanted to know how to change the brown menu. I mean, and this this would make sense. What I'm going to show you to do the buttons too. Um, but he said the brown didn't go with his theme. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can quickly change that. I mean, you can sure you can have everything custom, uh, you know, faded and, and made, you know, all your own your own things here but uh, if you want something quick uh, for your first version to get it out there or uh, you might even be able to find a combination that works uh, that you, you don't have to have it redone so let's see here I want to do start with the project follow me into template resources images let's see bottom menu okay so this is HD. Looks like uh, this would probably be for the iPhone, smaller iPhones or the older ones. I don't even know if it would even use it anymore. But anyway, this will show up on the iPhone 5 and 6, and then the iPad, uh, you know, regular, and then HD for the Retina. So what I'm going to do, and I do have Texture Packer installed, so I'm going to click on it. See, it's 1015 by 502. Um, and this is the only thing that I need to change right now. Um, I'll show, I mean, you could do each one of these, uh, but just for the sake of the, the video, I'll just show you how to do this. This main, try to get to come up here. Where do you want to come up? Where are you at, simulator? It would be these small boxes too, but I'm just going to show you how to do the big box. So I click on it. So the size is 1015502. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save as a PNG. I like to put things on my desktop because it's when it's clean. You can see it. Um, so I'm going to save that. this back later. So here it is. Then I'm going to duplicate it. I always like to duplicate it just in case I screw up. So I'm going to take it. And again, this is a quick way to do things if you don't want to reorganize, you know, completely reorganize your entire Before I do that, I'm going to show you something. I have a program here called Image Tricks Light. I've been using it for a while. The reason I'm going to wait to crop that is so he doesn't want this brown. Colin does not want this brown. So it's got a ton of different settings in here. I'm sure there's other programs. I'm just familiar with this one. So one I use a lot. And with brown, I mean, think about it. You know, it's, it's hard to. to get a lot of good hue adjust off brown. Watch some of the other buttons here, that's why I left them. You can really do quite a bit, you know, with just with just that. Um, go to brown. Let's see, we'll just take it to purple. And you can see now that we have that, if you come back in to the hue, you can do even more. So we have the purple. Let's save it. That's all we want. So it's still there. And again, the only thing we're going to do is this 
bottom menu, but this top piece here, you're going to do completely custom buttons with different font and everything else. That's great, but I mean, for some of these themes, these buttons work great. There's usually just enough space that you can grab it. Some of these, uh, these simple tweaks, I don't even use Photoshop, I just you know, like to do it right here. I guess it would, wouldn't hurt if I wasn't using the tiny little MacBook Air behind screen. Okay, so that's good. Now I have my purple. Now this is the file that I used. I need that name. I just drag this new purple file in here. Do all that is the same. Now I'm going to copy and paste that file name, but when I copy and paste it, it doesn't do the last extension. You see this? It needs the CCZ, so just put C, C, C. And then now the data file, that's going to be the plist, which isn't going to change. I'm not going to put anything in there. I will when I save it. And that's it. So just, I'm just going to put A, doesn't really matter. Like I said, I'm not going to change it. So now I have this file already renamed. Not going to need that. Bringing this in, replacing it. Now it's purple. I don't know why the simulator is not. Okay, so it's brown. Hope you're still with us. Tried to make it quick. It looks like it, you know, time flies. Nine minutes in. Hmm. Hopefully, this saved you more than nine minutes. And later, I can jump into different videos on how to, you know, individually take a bunch of your images. Like, if you're, it's going to come into play also with the multi theme slots uh, template similar to this but just multi-theme that we're doing when you're going to take you know you're going to be reskinning your slot reel icons and you're going to be dumping them in individually into a sprite and then to go back in and, and make sure that all works uh, there's going to be definitely some videos bear with me here i'm pretty sure my computer is not happy with me right now it probably needs cleaned up a bit It's slower on my computer than it would be probably on yours. So there's our purple. I'm going to zoom in just so you can see how crisp it is. And you can still see the brown there. I didn't do that, but imagine if I would have changed that a little bit. So very crisp. Good to go. And 
that's how you change those menus. Thanks. And I have to mention that, uh, yes, we are working on a multi-theme version of this code. It'll have more features, uh, share features, uh, you know, daily bonus coins and, and things like that. So if you are interested in that, uh, feel free to go to our website, outlandishapps.com. Click on, well, check anything out you want, but if you go to blog, I think the recent post here is talks all about the uh, multi-theme version we're working on. And if you click here, you can sign up so you know when it launches at a discounted price. And if you click here, it'll go to the countdown page. It looks like we're a little over 30 days from launch uh, to getting that set up. And hopefully we, we make it. And I'd like to, to honestly beat it. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, also find us here, contact or any uh, questions you may have. Have a good Friday. See ya.